Um, mine is more watery than is normal because I've had in the shower, and so it's after getting a bit of water in here. That's why our new packaging is so much better because you won't be able to get water in here like in our old packaging. So let's dive right in. First thing you're going to want to do, wet your face. So I'm using a face cloth because I don't want to have my face in the sink while I'm on video with you guys. So I'm going to make a huge mess. It's going to be water all over my shirt, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. So we're just wetting our face. Ha! So then we're going to take a little bit of product. Like I said, this is way more watery than it's supposed to be. That's why our new packaging is really a good idea. So you don't need a lot. Just dab some all over. So this stuff is full of actual volcanic ash from the volcanoes of the Vanuatu Islands, which is where a lot of the products ingredients originates from. So see that is plenty of product. You, I didn't lose, I didn't lose, I didn't use very much. It's plenty and you just, you just exfoliate. Get right in here. So why is exfoliation important? You should be exfoliating at least once a week. As we get older, the speed at which our skin cells replace themselves slows down. So as we're aging, the old dead skin cells that are waiting to be shed are just sitting there on the surface of our face. So it kind of keeps, I, I add a little bit more water too, then and just keep going. So it kind of keeps our skin from looking luminous and glowing because you got all that old dead skin just sitting on the surface of your face. So by exfoliating, you are helping your skin look more luminous because you are exfoliating, you are buffing off all that old dead crap that's just sitting there. So it leaves behind a more youthful, glowing appearance. Now, you probably don't need to exfoliate this much, but I just really, really love it. So avoid your eye area, obviously. And you can do your neck, but I don't want to make a huge mess, so I'm not going to do that right now. The best place to do this is in your bath or your shower because to rinse this off, you're not going to want to take a face cloth and do that because it's going to take forever. You just want to take full on water and just rinse it off. So you're going to make less of a mess and it's just going to be easier to rinse off if you do this in the shower or the tub. So I'm going to go ahead and just rinse off in my sink and I'll be right back. <laughs> 